Hello, I'm Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, and I want to congratulate High School Quiz Show on its 10th anniversary season. Now enjoy the show. Kicking off season 10 of a High School Quiz Show, we have Lexington High School. <laughs> Boston Latin School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. Cyber attacks aren't always obvious. Home cyber protection from safety insurance can help you protect yourself from cyber attacks. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage live storms. Museum of Science. anniversary season of High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and back in November, over 100 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our annual Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion and, of course, take home this beautiful trophy. Now, today's matchup has Boston Latin School taking on Lexington High School on the Boston Latin team. We have Aiden, Nick, Christy, and Sebastian, with alternates Joseph and Claire and coaches Andy Zhao and Clara Webb. <laughs> and for Lexington, uh, we've got David and Charles, Arushi, and Nick with alternates Albert and Parth and coaches Josh, Olivier, Mason, and Dan Mildia. <laughs> okay, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So if the teams are ready, uh, good luck Boston Latin, good luck Lexington High School, here we go. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Yes, Arushi. Jupiter. Yes, every year thousands of small earthquakes occur along what 800 mile fault line in California? Yes, Arushi. San Andreas Fault. Yes, the idea of self-government is evident in what opening three words of the preamble to the U.S. Constitution? Yes, Charles. We the people. Yes, what Supreme Court octogenarian has a surprisingly intense fitness regime as detailed in the best-selling book, The RBG Workout? Yes, Charles. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That's correct. Okay, take a look at your screens. Pictured here is a ranger walk at Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the most visited national park in the U.S. by far. It's located in North Carolina and what other state? Yes, Nick. Tennessee. Correct. Facing long odds against a much larger Union armies, what Confederate president reluctantly approved the use of black troops in 1865? Yes, Charles. Jefferson Davis. Yes, in 2018, what box office smash starring Constance Wu uh, became the first major Hollywood film with a predominantly Asian cast in a modern setting since 1993's The Joy Luck Club? Yes, Christy. Crazy Rich Asians. Yes, in fluid dynamics, what two-word phrase refers to the highest attainable speed an object can reach as it falls? Yes, Christy. Terminal velocity. Yes, Shakespeare commonly used what meter consisting of 10 syllables per line with a short stress followed by a long one, for example. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? 
Yes, Charles. Iambic pentameter. Yes. In celebration, by the way, of our 10th anniversary season, we have gone back into the archive to pull out some of our favorite video questions. And here's one from season four. Hi, I'm Will Farrell, and here's my question. One of my all-time heroes is the British comedian Peter Sellers, who played the role of what French detective in the original Pink Panther movie series? Chief Inspector Jacques Clouseau is the answer. It's amazing. All you have to do is see Will Farrow's face and everybody in the audience starts laughing. Uh, in 2018, what male figure skater and social media sensation became the first openly gay athlete to compete in the Winter Olympics for Team USA? Yes, Arushi. Adam Rippon. Yes, before France took control in the late 1800s, Vietnam spent more than a thousand years under the imperial rule of what country? Yes, Christy. China. Yes, in 2008, long before the success of Hamilton, Lynn Manuel Miranda won a Tony Award for Best Musical for what show set in a Latin American neighborhood in New York City? Yes, Nick. In the Heights. That's correct. Which of the following words is closest in meaning to parsimonious? Is it A, saintly, B, industrious, or C, stingy? Yes, Christy. C. C, stingy, yes. And a math question. When dividing A by B, A is the dividend, and B is the what? Yes, Nick. Divisor. Yes, best known for her Earthsea series of books, what fantasy and science fiction author passed away in 2018 at the age of 88? Yes, Charles? Ursula K. Le Guin. Yes. Uh, sumo wrestling includes certain rituals, such as the tossing of salt in the ring before a bout, uh, that are handed down from what ancient faith of Japan? Yes, Sebastian. Shinto. Yes, nearly 3,000 people in Puerto Rico were killed in the aftermath of what powerful hurricane that made landfall on September 20th, 2017? Yes, Nick. Maria. Yes, uh, the battle for and against standardized testing has raged since 2002 when what sweeping education reform bill was signed into law? Yes, Aiden. No Child Left Behind. Yes, what 2017 film that won three Oscars is the true story of nearly 400,000 Allied soldiers trapped on the beaches of France and hoping for deliverance. Yes, Charles. Dunkirk. Correct. Sometimes called the trash can of the cell, which of the following contains powerful enzymes to digest and recycle cell materials? Is it A, Golgi bodies, B, lysosomes, or C, mitochondria? Yes, Nick. Lysosomes. That's correct. What U.S. state is home to the Punch Bowl, a large crater uh, that contains the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific? Yes, Christy. California. No, Lexington, you want to try it. Nick? Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Under a treaty originally signed by 12 nations in 1959, what continent is reserved for free and peaceful scientific investigation? Yes, Nick. Antarctica. Yes, reported to have turned down a $1 billion offer to reunite in 2000. What Swedish supergroup recently reformed to record two new songs? Yes, Aiden. ABBA. Correct. Math question, how many minutes are in one day? Yes, Sebastian. Oh. Lexington. Yes, David. 1440. Yes, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has captured images of Pluto and its largest moon named what? Charles. Karen. Yes. Uh, the Berlin blockade and airlift was an international crisis that arose three years after the end of what war? Yes, Sebastian. World War II. Yes, revered in Judaism and Christianity for his wisdom and in Islam as a prophet, what biblical king of Israel built the first temple of Jerusalem? Yes, Charles. Solomon. Yes, at the 2018 Golden Globes, what queen of all media made history as the first black woman to win the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement? Yes, Arushi. Oprah Winfrey. Yes, found only in the Sonoran Desert. What cactus species that can grow as tall as 50 feet is a signature plant of Arizona? Yes, Nick. Saguaro. Yes, in August 2018. Oh, 
There's the bell that ends the round. Uh, the score right now, Boston Latin, 90 points, Lexington High School, 200 points. How about it for both teams, everybody? <laughs> Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we'd like to take a few minutes, get to know the players, the contestants a little bit better, and we do that by way of a question which I have in my hand, and I will ask all of you right now. And we'll start with you, Aiden, here at Boston Latin. Uh, in 2010, the Angry Birds game was the most popular app. If the developers asked you to choose a new emotion for the birds for the next 10 years, what would it be and why? Aiden. Uh, I think it'd be Woke Birds, because it's 2019. Okay, all right. Nick? I think it would be Woke Birds, because it's going to be 2020. Ah, okay. I, I smell a theme coming here. Uh, Christy, go ahead. Um, I also agree. I think it's going to be Woke Birds, because it was just 2018. Uh, oh, good point. Uh, and Sebastian? I agree with my teammates. It's going to be Woke Birds, because <laughs> yeah. why not? Why not? Uh, all right, Lexington. David, we'll start with you. All right, Billy, so I think the Angry Birds have been bottling up their anger and rage for about 10 years now. I think yeah. it's time to kick it up a notch, so I think they should upgrade to Outraged Birds. Outraged. And Charles? Um, unlike David, I think that the Angry Birds need to turn their mood around, so I think we should be Jubilant Birds. Jubilant. And uh, Arushi? I think that after 10 years, the birds are ready to um, increase their enmity with the pigs, and so they would be called Mocking Birds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nick, how about you? Angry Birds reminds me of many wasted hours of my childhood, so I would say nostalgic birds. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're ready for the head-to-head -head round, and the way that works, all of you uh, will come forward and, well, go head-to-head. -head. So teams, Boston, Latin, Lexington, let's go head-to-head. Okay, we're about to go head to head. I have Lexington High School to my left, Boston Latin to my right. Uh, gentlemen, you want to shake hands and get started here? Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you do get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. Very important, you can buzz in at any time. So the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. What peasant girl is considered a French heroine for her role during the... Joan Bark. Yes. The Mississippi River empties into what gulf? Yes. Gulf of Mexico. Yes. Uh, how many lines of poetry are in a haiku? Yes. Three. Yes. Uh, what New Zealand city is the world's southernmost national? Yes. Auckland. No, Wellington. Uh, a conventional magnet has how many poles? Yes. Sorry. Okay. Two would have been the answer. From 1939 until his death in 1975, what military dictator ruled over Spain? Yes. Uh, Fr Francisco Franco. Yes. Approximately 90% of the people in Bangladesh are, yes. Oh, uh, Muslim. Yes. Uh, name the author of the uh, dystopian fantasy novel Brave New World. Yes. Huxley. Yes. In 2018, Jordan Peele won an Oscar for Best Original Screen. Get out. Yes. Uh, what class of rocks are formed from the solidification? Yes. Uh, igneous. Yes. Most of the city of Rome is located on the eastern bank. Uh, uh, Po River. No, the Tiber River. What Broadway musical features the songs Defying Gravity and Popular? Yes. Legally Blonde. No, Wicked. Uh, what country hosts the largest U.S. military base in the Middle East? Yes. Uh, Saudi Arabia. No, Qatar. Uh, name the only Grand Slam tennis tournament that's played on clay court. Yes. French Open. Yes. Uh, what is the first name of the female protagonist in the 1991 Disney film Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Aurora. No, Bell. In 1937, what country invaded and occupied large areas of eastern China? Yes. Japan. Yes. What element has the chemical symbol CU? Yes. Uh, copper. Did he get it? Yes, he got it. Copper is uh, the answer, and he got in just in time. That is the end of round two, the head-to-head -head round. The score right now, Boston Latin, 120 points. Lexington High School, 220 points. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. The Oval Office, when Harry met Meghan. That's amore. Justice for Barb. Show me the money and it'll end in tears. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you are no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Uh, now, Boston Land, you've got a little ground to make up. You do get to select the first category. What's it going to be? That's amore. That's amore. These are questions 
about sea life. And for 10 points, sea turtles are ectothermic. This means which of the following? A, they have hard shells. B, they are cold-blooded. C, they lay their eggs on land. Yes, Charles. B. B, they are cold-blooded. You've got the board Lexington category. That's a moray for 15. Okay, for 15 points. The blue whale and its relatives have no teeth. They filter their food with a series of fringed plates called what? Yes, Nick. Baleen. Baleen or baleen is correct. And now, Boston Lat, you've got the board category. Stick with it. Uh, that's a moray for 20 points. Oysters and scallops are examples of what class of mollusk that have two hinged shells? Yes, David. Bivalve. Bivalves is right. And so now, Lexington, you've got the board category. That's a moray for 25. For 25 points. Uh, massive reef structures are made of stony corals. And these corals are made of thousands of tiny animals called what? Yes, Sebastian. Polyps. Polyps is right. And now, Boston Latin, you've got the board category. Uh, we'll stick with that some more, eh? For 30 points. Also known as microalgae, what type of plankton consists of microscopic plants and is the base of the marine food web? Yes, Aiden. Mitoplankton. Correct. And now you've still got the board, Boston Latin. You'll need a category, though. Uh, show me the money. Show me the money. Uh, these are questions about financial literacy. For 10 points, if interest rates rise, then bond rates will typically rise, fall, or stay the same. Yes, Christy. Fall. Fall is correct, and you've still got the board. Category? Show me the money. Show me the money for 15 points. Uh, according to most financial experts, including Forbes magazine, uh, you should build up an emergency fund to cover expenses for which of the following? A, one to two months, B, three to six months, or C, 12 to 18 months? Yes, Christy. B. B, three to six is correct. You've still got the board, Boston Latin. Category. Stick with it. Show me the money for 20 points. The uh, price earnings ratio is one of the most widely used tools for stock selection. It's uh, calculated by dividing the stock's current market price by its EPS, which stands for what? Yes, Christy. Um, expected price. Mm. <sighs> no. Lexington, you want to try it? Okay, earnings per share is the answer, but Boston Latin, you've still got the board. Category? Stick with it. Show me the money for 25 points. A math question. If you took out a $40,000 loan at 0.75% simple interest, how much interest would you pay in a five-year period? Yes, Nick? Uh, $15,000. No, you want to try it, Boston Latin? Christy. 1,500. 1,500 is correct. You've still got the board Boston Latin category. I'll stick with it. Show me the money. 30 points. Uh, what is the earliest age at which you can start collecting a Social Security retirement benefit, though at a reduced rate? Yes, Nick. 60. No, Lexington, you want to try it. 65, right? David. 65. No, 62 is the answer. Boston Latin, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. Oval Office. Questions about American presidents for 10 points. Who declared a global war on terror in response to the attacks against America on September 11th, 2001? Yes, Nick. George W. Bush. Yes, and now Lexington, you've got the board category. The Oval Office. For 15 points. Uh, before he became president, who served as America's ambassador to France for four years, beginning in 1785? Yes, David. Thomas Jefferson. Correct. You've still got the board Lexington category. Oval Office. For 20 points, the Oval Office. In his 1823 address to Congress, who asserted that the Americas should not be colonized by any European powers, a doctrine that became a cornerstone of U.S. foreign policy? Yes, Charles. Monroe. Yes, you've still got the board Lexington category. Oval Office. For 25 points, what U.S. president signed the Civil Rights Act of 1875, which extended the rights of emancipated slaves? Yes, Sebastian. Grant. Ulysses Grant is correct. You've got the board back, a Boston Latin category. It'll end in tears. It'll end in tears. Questions about Greek tragedies. And for 10 points, in what Athenian tragedy does the main character stab out his own eyes with brooches from his mother's robe? Yes, Charles. Oedipus Rex. Oedipus Rex is correct. You've got the board, Lexington. Oval Office. Going back to the Oval Office this time for 30 points. Who was president when Alaska and Hawaii both became states? 
Yes, Nick. Harry Truman. No, Boston Latin, you want to take a shot. Yes, Aiden. Eisenhower. Yes, Dwight D. Eisenhower, uh, Boston Latin. You've got the board. You'll need a category. It'll end in tears. Okay, it'll end in tears, this time for 15 points. Uh, what Sophocles' drama is about a young woman who mourns for her fallen brother and sets out to bury him facing the death penalty if she's caught? Yes, Christy. Antigone. That is correct, and you've still got the board Boston Latin. I'll stick with it. Stick with it. It'll end in tears, this time 20 points at stake. Uh, Euripides Medea is one of the more shocking female characters in literature. Uh, she murders her own two sons to exact revenge on her husband, a former adventurer named what? Yes, Nick. Jason. Jason is right. Now, Lexington, you've got the board category. When Harry Met Meghan. Okay, when Harry Met Meghan. Questions about the royal wedding. Uh, for 10 points, in 2018, England's Prince Harry married Meghan Markle, a divorced American actress best known for her starring role on what legal drama? Yes, Aiden. Suits. Suits is right. You've got the board Boston Latin category. Tears. It'll end in tears for 25 points. Uh, the word tragedy literally translates as goat song. Goats were given as prizes at Athenian drama festivals honoring what Greek god of wine and revelry? Yes, Aiden. Dionysus. Correct. And you've still got the board Boston Latin. Stick with it. It'll end in tears for 30 points. Derived from the Greek meaning purify, what term did Aristotle use to describe the purging of emotions of pity and fear that are aroused in the viewer of a tragedy? Yes, Catharsis. Nick. I'm sorry? Catharsis. Yes, that's correct. You've still got the board Boston Latin. You'll need a new category. Justice for Barb. Justice for Barb. These are going to be questions about women named Barbara. For 10 points, the first woman since Abigail Adams to be the wife of one president and mother of another. What former first lady passed away in 2018 at the age of 92? Yes, Nick. Barbara Bush. That's correct. You've got the board Lexington category. Justice for Barb. This time for 15 points. So what superstar who has recorded more than 50 albums was the first woman to write, produce, direct, and star in a major studio film, 1983's Yentl? Yes, Sebastian. Barbara Streisand. Correct. And Boston Latin, you've got the board category. We'll stick with it. Justice for Barb for 20 points. What legendary TV journalist and creator of the talk show The View was the first woman to co-anchor a network evening newscast? Yes, Aiden. Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters is correct. You've still got the board, Boston. Oh, but that is the bell that ends the category round the score right now. Boston Latin, 360 points. Lexington High School, 250 points. How about it? Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round. But uh, before we do, we have a score correction to make. Boston Latin's answer to the plankton question was incorrect. The correct answer was phytoplankton. So the corrected score now is Boston Latin, 300 points, Lexington High School, 250 points. So in this round, you will get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. In 2018, researchers in Amsterdam revealed new pages of a diary that belonged to what young... Yes, Sebastian. And Frank. Yes, in 1925, Tennessee passed the Butler Act, which prohibited public schools. Yes, Sebastian. Evolution. Yes, in December 2017, what Boston tabloid newspaper filed for bankruptcy protection? Harold. Yes, Nick. Harold. Yes. Uh, mean Girls, the musical, is based on a film of the same name written by what star of... Yes, Christy. Tina Fey. Yes. Uh, what five-letter word refers to a ring-shaped coral reef or island? Yes, Nick. Atoll. Yes. What Shakespeare play is set at Elsinore Castle? Yes, Arushi. King Lear. No, Hamlet. Uh, what country's prime minister is officially known as the Taoiseach? Ireland. Yes, Ireland. Nick. Uh, yes. In 1911, archaeologist Hiram Bingham discovered what ancient... Machu yes, Picchu. Nick. Yes. On May 7, 1945, Germany signed an unconditional surrender at Allied headquarters in what French city? Yes, Nick. Paris. No, Reims. 
Uh, what U.S. state is home to Carlsbad National Park? Yes, Nick. New Mexico. Yes, on March 20th, 1815, who began his 100 days rule in Paris after? As, yes, Aiden. Uh, Napoleon. Yes, in the children's novel, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What is Charlie's last name? Yes, Christy. Bucket. Yes, what city is the seat of government in Taiwan? Yes, Nick. Taipei. Yes, uh, the Bitterroot Mountain Range extends. Yes, Sebastian. Yeah, uh, Montana. Yes. In 2011, Osama bin Laden was killed by elite American. Oh. 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 That's the end of the round and the game. And the winner this week, high school quiz show, Boston Latin. <laughs> with a score of 420 points. Lexington High School, 300. Points. Congratulations to both teams for a great round. Boston Latin now will move on to play in the quarterfinals. Be sure you're here. Tune in. We'll see you back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Wow. Trees are down. The power is down. But you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. <laughs> Production of WGBH.